This could be potentially the top pick for the best monitor for productivity and gaming in 2023. Let me explain why in my full review of the Philips Evnia 34 inch curved gaming monitor. The model number for reference is 34M2C7600MV. This is from Philips new Evnia era of gaming monitors and I will make sure to leave a link in the video description. Let's begin with the design. As you may have noticed by now it has a large footprint on my desk and you will need to make sure you have enough space on your desk for this huge monitor but it's truly worth it. Its footprint on my desk measures a width of 807 by a height of 549 by a depth of 290 millimeters. Looking at the back you will find a white cabinet casing your monitor components with a textured design. So there's squared textured designs going throughout the curvature of your monitor. With a white subtle design it fits in with its sleek and elegant design that Philips are trying to achieve. A monitor not just designed to sit in an office or a bedroom but a monitor or a display that could sit anywhere in your home. On the back is where you'll find the immersive Ambigo lighting system from Philips which surrounds your monitor on all four sides offering the option to choose the color that suits your setup or the mood you're in. Ambiglow is a technology that creates a halo of light around your monitor. It uses a fast processor to analyze the incoming image content and continuously adapts the color and brightness of the emitted light to match the image. This creates a unique an immersive viewing experience especially suited for watching movies sports or playing games and it's really worth checking out and I've tried to capture that the best I could during my review you also have the ability to change the options in the menu with one section dedicated to ambiglow where you can change the color the light positions brightness and speed you can also follow video audio, color shift, color wave and color breathing options, as well as starry night or static mode. You may have also noticed the large feet that support the column and your monitor. These are plastic covered but in a speckled design that is made up of 35% recycled material. This is great to see as it helps the environment and is a preferred option over the typical black or grey design that we would normally see. There is a cable management option to make sure your desk stays clear and cables are tidied away. A clip is provided which connects to the column where you're able to tidy your cables away or you even have the option to feed some of the cables through the middle column section. The stand is silver in colour and fits in well with the sleek design Philips are trying to achieve. This display is designed not to just sit in the bedroom out of the way, it's been designed with elegant design that fits anywhere in your home and the ability to connect multiple different media sources. Please note it is fairly heavy as it does have to support the large 34 inch display. The weight with the stand is 10.35 kilos and weight without the stand is 8.58 kilos. You do have the option to use a vest mount measuring 100 by 100 and there is a clamp that is in the box that you just need to take off the arm and put this clamp on and you can connect a vest mount or a desk arm. You also have the option to lock your monitor down with a Kensington lock. I can't see anyone just walking away with this though in their pocket. Since we have mentioned the display let's discuss the most important factor of your monitor and that's its 34 inch or 86.36 centimeter measured display and it always measures diagonally. These Philips screens deliver crystal clear ultra wide quad HD with a resolution of 3440 by 1440 and it's able to achieve 165 hertz refresh rate. To achieve this refresh rate you will require a PC, graphics card and game that is able to play at this frame rate. With high density pixel count of 109 pixels per inch and a wide viewing angle of a 178 degrees which is really incredible for this large curvature design. It enables extensive productivity work with more room for side-by-side -side comparisons and more viewable spreadsheet columns. So in my day-to-day -day life I have used many different applications open at the same time being able to see many different windows that find multiple different information without moving to a different desktop or without closing applications and finding where the applications are in the background. So this is made with a VA panel so VA stands for vertical alignment which is common to see in computer and TV monitors. It tends to offer the best in class contrast option which is perfect for gaming in those dark caves or bright snowy hills. It will look great when using everyday work applications also or when you just want to play throughout the night. This monitor offers mini LED. The small size of mini LEDs forming the backlight allows for creation of 1152 individual controllable zones delivering deeper blacks and brighter whites. 
With this monitor you also have display HDR 1400 with a peak brightness of up to 1400 nits, increasing the contrast ratio and wider colour gamut. This screen brings out the details that you've never experienced until you've tried it and it is truly worth trying and I hope this video brings it out the best it can. This Philips monitor comes with several HDR modes built in and optimised straight away for you. So you have HDR Premium, HDR Effect, HDR Warm, HDR Basic and VESA Display HDR Certified Level. So you can choose which best suits you and of course you have the Philips Smart Image preset built into your monitor. When using HDR it is very bright in some games so this is from my personal experience. I had to change the HDR settings on the PS5 and also the Xbox One Series X but it is really good that it picks up the HDR and looks great in really bright areas for the sand dunes in the new Star Wars game or even dark spots when I'm playing on the Xbox or FIFA the pitch looks so green everything comes alive the colors just pop and come alive and it's great to take a look at the content so as you notice this is a curved display and it has a 1500R curvature and I prefer a curved display so it pulls me into my content and it's really enjoyable the curved screen provides a pleasant yet suitable immersive effect which focus you on the center of your content that you want to view this does have an anti-glare 3H haze 20 25% so it will try to offer an anti-glare when using next to bright light as I do as you'll notice in the video from the left hand side there is a window there I try to use it with curtains closed or blinds closed but I notice the glare doesn't bother me there is a response time of 2.5 milliseconds which is grey to grey so this is pretty common for a VA panel and it tends to be a bit more improved with an IPS display this is where you'll notice the improvements for response time however that's where you'll notice it dip for contrast so so VA is great for contrast, IPS is a little bit better for input lag. With this monitor, it's offering over a billion colours, your images will come alive. Editing photos and videos have been amazing. So using Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and also then using photo editing software such as Canva and Adobe Suite. I've also found when you're watching a film, you're actually seeing the colours the director wanted you to see in the film as well when having this many colours. That's really important to see. So the screen frequency, as I mentioned, is from 48 to 160. 65 hertz and this depends on what your setup uses so you play intense competitive gaming you demand a display lag free ultra smooth images the Philips display redraws the screen image up to 165 times per second very fast and much needed for gaming high spec games that we see on the PS5 and also on the Xbox but especially when you come to PC gaming and using your graphics card and syncing it up together AMD FreeSync Premium Pro so gaming should shouldn't be a choice between choppy gameplay or broken frames so it does have AMD FreeSync technology on here and again this is where HDR experience comes through and you can enjoy your games the way they're meant to be enjoyed. So as we've mentioned with this monitor you have over 1 billion colours but the colour gamut is sRGB 140% and Adobe RGB is 92.9%. With this monitor you can choose to connect to multiple different devices. So you have the option of picture in picture, picture by picture or a KVM switch. So control and switch between two devices through a single keyboard, so that's your KVM switch. Or you can choose to use two different connected devices as I do and show you with the Xbox and the PlayStation. Using the HDMI ports I can switch between those and have picture in picture or picture by picture making it really fun and really easy to use multiple different devices. I could also have a source with my Mac and doing some work and then watching a gaming video or vice versa. I could be gaming while trying to read a document so it's up to you what you choose. As you know I am visually impaired and I like to highlight the accessibility options and features products have to offer. This monitor has a few starting with the large display for me it's always great to have a large display. When I work with my daily job I have many projects open, many different windows opening and it's really easier for me to know where everything is and I can see it all in one place without trying to find other applications. So this monitor also offers flicker free technologies for those that will experience a horizontal line when using their monitor which is due to certain eyesight conditions and general use. By having this option it removes that horizontal lines and allows you to enjoy your content no matter what it is, movies, games, document, news or or photo editing so it removes that horizontal lines that some people may see in most monitors now you will see a low blue mode this removes the harmful blue light that 
electric devices emit. This allows you to use your monitor for longer periods of the day and night and means that you won't feel fatigue or strain in your eyes. And then finally, there is one other option is the easy read mode. This allows you to read extensive documents or data sheets without strain or fatigue. You'll notice it removes all of the color and just becomes different shades of gray, making it easy to read documents and carry out your work. However, when you want color back in your life, you have so many different options to choose from thanks to the Philips Smart Image preset that built into your display allows you to choose the best one for you. So if you're gaming, you can choose between RTS, FTS, or the gaming preset option. If you're watching movies, select movies and find the best option that suits you. So when it comes to sound, there is DTS sound built in with two times five watt speakers, so 10 watts total output. DTS sound is an audio processing solution designed to optimize playback of music, movies, streaming, games, or PC, regardless of form factor. So DTS sound is great. And for me, it's been enjoyable and I've used it. If not, most of the time I just use my headphones and one thing you will notice on the back of the column is a handy headphone rest so you can put your headphones on there. When turned up to full volume the monitor does sound great and is easy and enjoyable to sit back and watch the latest movies or enjoy your gaming. So when it comes to menu controls moving through the menu and through your different options is really easy thanks to a joystick control option that you'll find on the bottom right hand corner so just reaching around you'll find that there it's tactile design as well so really easy to find and you can navigate through the different menu options so when it comes to movement so it is a large monitor and it can be moved quite a lot so you have a height adjustment of 150 millimeters you have a tilt option of minus 5 to plus 20 and then finally you have a swivel option of 20 degrees either side so you can turn it left or right looking at connectivity now connections is where you are able to connect so many different devices and it can handle all of your devices. So currently I've had it connected to my Mac Mini, MacBook Pro, work laptop, PS5, Xbox One, plus still USB ports are available to connect over other peripherals, but not needed for every devices as it does have the KVM switch, as I've mentioned. You notice your power connection first. When switched on, it uses 64.9 watts and in standby, it will use 0.5 watts and it has a G energy rating. You've got a USB hub with USB 3.2 Gen 1 at five gigahertz of speed. Then you have a USB B upstream, one of those, a USB A downstream times four with two fast charging, which is really handy to have to charge up your devices. You have HDMI 2.1 times two, DisplayPort 1.4 times one, a USB C times one, which is power delivery. And power delivery is up to 90 watts, which means it will charge my MacBook Pro as well as the Huawei MateBook that I have here as well. So coming on to my personal thoughts, I've had the pleasure to use this monitor now for the previous couple of months, both for my everyday job, as well as creating content for Ricky's Tech Talk on all of my social media platforms. So if you haven't followed me on all of those, make sure to go and check me out. All the links will be in the video description and of course many hours of gaming and this is why i said it is potentially going to be the best monitor for gaming and productivity i truly believe it's an all-rounder for a larger display and is perfect due to my poor vision having a curved display makes you feel more drawn into your content paired with extensive gaming features as i've mentioned during this review and the immersive ambigo lighting experience it makes it so enjoyable to use day or night where I truly believe it shines. And this is why I've said it is potentially one of the best options to choose in 2023. But what do you think? Make sure to leave a comment below. I will make sure to share a link to Philips website. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated when I release new videos. All that's left to say is happy gaming and have a great day.